In this video, we're going to Southwest Saskatchewan to check out the town of East End. It's located in the Frenchman Valley. It's a charming town with less than a thousand people. And then we're also going to check out Jones Peak, which is located just outside of town. East End is located on Highway 13, also known as the Red Coat Trail. The first place we're going to check out is the T-Rex Center. This area is known for some significant dinosaur finds. And you can find a lot of them here. This museum has a unique design. And admission is by donation, so I gave $10. Once inside, you're going to find a lot of artifacts and dinosaur bones, including a replica of Scotty. Scotty was the largest T-Rex find in the world. And it also has a lot of activities for kids. Next, we're going to check out the other museum in town at the Visitor Center. I've lived in Southwest Saskatchewan for 17 years, and this is my first visit. I was really surprised by what I found. There's even more dinosaur bones in here, some you can get really close to. And it's like taking a step back in time. There's a few buildings out back, each one of which has a different theme. You're going to get a sense of what life was like in the prairie provinces up close and personal. You can even go inside the old pokey. Admission was free, but I did give a $5 donation. This place is bigger than I thought. Now let's go check out Main Street. East End attracts a lot of people in the creative fields like artists and authors, and it's reflected in the culture of the town. Up and down Main Street, you're gonna see antique stores. This is gonna be an artist studio soon. I'm not sure if the old hotel still has rooms available, but it does have a really nice bar and restaurant. I was really sad to discover that Charlie's has closed down. I hope it opens up again soon. I really like this place. But the most popular spot here is Jack's Cafe. It's been here forever, and now it looks like it has ice cream. This is a residence now, and I noticed it's for sale. And there's the old RCMP Depot, from 1873 until 2007. On Saturdays, you're going to find a big market here and live music at the Town Square. I'm here on a Wednesday, so there's not really much going on. East End also has a really nice golf course. But I really like crossing this old bridge. It goes right across the Frenchman River. It's got some nice views. It's also at the golf course to find the pool. It was closed today. And East End also has the Trans-Canada Trail. It goes right along the Frenchman River. It's a beautiful trail and it's well maintained. And it goes to the heart of town. Next is the campground. 
It's a huge campground. There's a lot more camping spots here than I expected. It's also got a lot of sports facility, including a rodeo grounds. The campground is well maintained, and lots of services. But what really excited me was that it also has a mini golf course. Unfortunately for me, it was closed today. The East End is also known for the Wallace Stagner House, the famous author. It's now used as a residence for artists, as you can tell from this Prius from BC. Sometime this summer, East End is going to have passenger rail service. One of the largest vintage train collections in Canada is right here. As soon as this train is in service, I'm going to be making a video just on this train alone. It's going to go through the picturesque Frenchman Valley. East End also has a dam and reservoir. It's just on the edge of town. There isn't really anything here to do it looks like. I didn't notice anybody on their boats or out here fishing, but it is a nice place to go for a nice long walk. Now let's go check out Jones Peak. It's about a 10 minute drive on a grid road outside of town. It is on private property, so be very respectful while you're here. The views from this place is absolutely amazing. You can see the Frenchman Valley for miles. If you want to see more of Southwest Saskatchewan, including the Frenchman Valley, I made a video called 10 Thrilling Places in Southwest Saskatchewan. Many of these places are pretty close to East End. Check it out on the link above. Well, I really hope you enjoy your trip to East End. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below.